Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Fabiano Cyclone. Fabiano Cyclone is half Brazilian and half Japanese, and it seems to be a successful mixture for fighting, given his success and, of course, the success of mixed martial arts, Leonardo Machida in the UFC. The combination of Brazilian passion with Japanese discipline is ideally suited to producing fighters with a lot of technical ability and a lot of heart. What a great name to have as well, right? Cyclone. <laughs> That's not even his nickname. Fabiano Cyclone. He better have a really good Ushiro Mawashigiri, like a spinning back into the head, like Cyclone Kick. You think, where does she shop? <laughs> That's for the American audience. And please welcome his opponent, Morad Bouzidi. You ready? Okay, let me wind you up. Do it exactly the way I said do it, man. These niggas is pussy, you heard me? Get up nice and close. Yeah. I put that bad in his bed. I'm the reason why you move like that. That's Murad, the silent power, Bouzidi. He was born in the Hague, Netherlands, started practicing Muay Thai at the age of 10, so he jumped right into the, uh, the fire from the frying pan. He had his first fight at the age of 13 years old, turned pro in 2001, entered the glory grand slam on New Year's Eve, coming off a decision loss to Gokan Saki in a rematch. And to make things worse, Bouzidi's opening tournament match was against his trainer and friend, Peter Art. But after winning one round, Art broke his hand, giving Bouzidi the win by TKO. And he has to decide a big sigh of relief after that one because of an emotional win and, you know, beating his friend. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you, you simply draw it, you know, and that's what's going to happen. You have to face a friend. It's a hard thing to do. Now, in training, though, they beat really, well, let's say, the crap out of each other because that's how it goes. Ego's flying around. But doing it in front of an audience, it's, it's a different thing, you know, because you both don't want to lose and you both don't want the other guy to lose. Yeah, Buzzini is very quick, applies constant pressure, uses hand combinations to set up kicks extremely well. He's powerful for his size, but he knows that he's a small heavyweight. And the 95 kilogram division is looking better and better to him as each day goes by. Tail of the tape. Same weight. Pretty much the same height. A little reach advantage here to Cyclone. But can he use it against the experienced Buzidi, who fought way more fights, half of them he won by way of knockout, half of his wins he won by knockout. Lots of power on both these guys. And let's throw it up to Tim Hughes to get this thing started. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the heavyweights, your co-main event of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the blue corner, this Muay Thai specialist won the WBC heavyweight title in 2012. He brings a professional record to Istanbul of 26 wins with nine losses, 13 of those wins coming by knockout. Standing 1.8 meters and weighing in at 99.6 kilograms, fighting out of Santa Isabel Pala, Brazil, by way of Tokyo, Japan, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Fabiano Cyclone. His opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner with appearances in glory to Brussels and glory for Tokyo. A European world and Dutch heavyweight champion. His professional record, 74 wins, 20 losses, two draws, 
33 wins by way of knockout. Standing 1.86 meters and weighing in at 99.9 kilos. He fights out of Tunisia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Morad, the silent power Buzidi. And once again, your referee, Yuk Umeda. Ik kan mannen breken, spreek, stop ze op je oké? Wees je goed, fight, shake hands, en master back. And here we go, round number one in this contest, Buzidi in the black trunks, and Cyclone in the multicolored trunks. I'd like to give a shout out for help on some of the notes to MuayThaiAuthority.com and the entire Glory staff. Yes, yes, yes. Round one, fight! Okay, here we go, round number one. I expect to see Buzidi use his speed to thwart anything that Fabiano Cyclone can throw. Oh boy, that low kick, I don't know. See, that leg all taped up like Sakuraba. <laughs> is he gonna be able to take low kicks? Is that a target now, or is he distracting his opponent? and wrapping the other leg, sometimes they do that as well. That's possible. I guess we're gonna find out. Just, just kick them both. <laughs> we can watch out though, because if we go for the back leg, the right uppercut from the opponent would be a dangerous weapon. <laughs> just don't do it. Nice front higher. kick, nice front kick by Cyclone. Puts Buzidi down on a slip. Again, he goes for that liver. Buzidius punches and kicks. That's what he's attacking there. The right side of the body. And again, yeah. Skoner is shouting, give him another one. Skoner says, kick him hard to the body. And then he gives him a right low kick. He says, yes, that's good too. <laughs> Very nice, look at that, the way he sets everything up. Very short, using his hands, upper body mo movement with those inside low kicks and liver kicks. From fighting stance, that's, that's very technical. Liver kick, right low kick. Oh, uh, liver shot, right low kick. That's what his corner asked, see? He's listening. And I've got to tell you, Buzidi really starting to turn up the heat on Cyclone. Cyclone looks the stronger man. He may be able to beat Buzidi in an arm wrestling contest, but right now, the speed is the problem for Cyclone. Oh, good very left. nice. Great left hook at the end there by Buzidi. And now the body he should do. Double He's left hook. Tripling and doubling on that left hook. There we go. Again, he rocks Cyclone there. Cyclone is really, really having a problem now. One more left hook could do this. I think that Buzidi uh, was keeping him up. Yeah. <laughs> if he would have stepped away, it would have maybe uh, been an eight count. Cyclone looks ready to go here. Ten seconds left. Buzidi goes in with more left hooks. Cyclone fires back. Bazidi is listening to his corner. They said a one, two, three liver, and he throws it on the money. Everything they show, he throws. So he's totally tuned in to his corner. Well, that was a tough round for Fabiano Cyclone. Oh. Yeah, that was a slip there. Yeah, but it was a good kick, though. Yeah, it was nice, yeah. May have been the only thing of significance that Cyclone landed in the whole round, though. And then those low kicks hurt because you're moving away, and it means the muscles are relaxed. And we all had a Charlie horse one time done to us by our friends, by our annoying friends. So I'm pretty sure Mr. Waters did that a lot. Never. And uh, Bobby on a Cyclone. 
Uh, yeah, that's a mistake here. It has to be. No, the red corner. Oh, that's OCD is okay. red corner. It's just the way the graphic is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OCD all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I was reading it the wrong way, but this is not possible. Now, Cyclo's got to get inside the kick as well, right? Yes, he does, but the thing is, Buzidi's Buzidi starting to time it, kick under it, kick that back leg. Okay. Kick him harder. He's going to shout. This is what Cyclo needs. Cyclo needs to drop some bombs here. Buzidi's smiling. I would never do that. Stay in the game. Cyclo start blocking those low kicks also. Good kick to the body by Buzidi. Cyclone trying to fly in with a knee. It is shielded by Murad Buzidi. Jeff inside low kick, then Jeff right low kick. He's working everything. He's got movement too. Constance, very nice, look at that. Cyclone waiting too long. He had the right idea at the early part of the round, pressing the action. Okay. No, and no and throws or sweeps here in glory. Well, he's got a lot of power, Cyclone. Yes, he does. He has to watch out. can get careless here. That's what he needs to do. Cyclone needs to really get in there and start throwing bombs. Whether Buziti blocks it or not, it'll get Buziti backing up because he's standing here on the outside like this. Oh, nice combination by Cyclone. Look but Buziti fires back. Ooh, that was a right roundhouse knee. Oh, somebody to the head. I wonder if that knee gave out. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in.